report creation and analysis so in this video what we are going to learn here first of all we will learn that how you can generate a report from a tool and then how we can analyze the report to get more and more information about the vulnerabilities so to perform this kind of process we need to go to the Kali Linux and uh, as in the previous video we have seen that how zap can scan a website so I will resume it from there and I will show you that how you can create a report from Zadatac proxy we are at Kali Linux operating system and uh, here from the last video we have seen that we have successfully scanned a website using Zadatac proxy right so here uh, if I want to create a report from Zadatac proxy then how we can do this quite simple you can see here in the menu right so different kind of menus are available here you can see there is also a tab report from where you can generate a report of this scan process so let me click on the report and here you can see that there are different different kind of report you can generate for example if you want to generate HTML report then you can click here it will generate HTML XML Markdown report, JSON report, anything you want. For example, if I want to generate only HTML report, so if you click on that and uh, it will save wherever you want. But for example, if I want to save on desktop and you need to provide a name here, so the extension will be .html, but you can provide, for example, report.html and you can save it anywhere, doesn't matter. For example, inside home, I want to save it with the name report.html and click save. Right. So, uh, this is the report which has been generated. All right. Let me create uh, one more report XML report. So, you can click on generate XML report and you can save with this report with report.xml. Okay. And in the home, I want to save this. Okay, fine. Now let me minimize the Zyrtec proxy. So here uh, I will show you that where are the reports available. So uh, you can click on places, click on computer, and inside computer you can find out home. So here you can see that these two reports are available here: report.html and report.xml. So uh, you can click on report.html and it will open up in your browser right here it is so this is your zap report right zap scanning report so these are the summary of alerts means how many vulnerabilities you got inside the scanning process so i already told you that we don't have any high vulnerability we have one medium vulnerability and two low vulnerabilities available inside it right alert details so these are the alert details available that this is a medium kind of vulnerability you can see the description is also available that xframe options header is not included in the http response to protect so they are just warning you this is the url right get they are using get method they are also telling you the solution that how you can solve this problem right you can also learn from here this is a low vulnerability which is basically they have indicated uh, using yellow color and uh, medium with the orange color right description web browser accesses is not enabled means uh, anyone can attack on this website using cross site scripting attack and solution is also available here that ensure that web browsers accesses filter is enabled by setting accesses protection header one and we had one medium and two low vulnerability so it is the second low vulnerability x content type options header missing right you can read here solution is also available here so that's how uh, in pen testing ethical hackers create reports right this is an automated report but uh, in uh, practical life you need to create your personal report of your company right but you can take help of these automated report that how you can create a report properly right because this report will be sent to the uh, your client this is your final report so that's why it should be good the it should use the color combination properly and uh, that you can see here that they are using colors different different colors for different kind of vulnerabilities available here it should be clear short right so that your client can learn it can understand it properly that what are the problems available in my website right so for a practical purpose that's why i'm telling you that why it is so necessary all right 
close it you can also open the xml this is an xml report and uh, we don't send this xml report to the clients uh, we generally send either html or in the pdf format right so these two formats are generally used uh, for sending the reports mostly the pdf format right but you can also if you want to copy and paste something from here then you can do this right so ultimately you need to create your report and you can take help of these reports in your personal reports so that's why report creation is necessary and analysis is also important so that uh, you and uh, your client can understand the report properly so that's how you can create reports from zero attack proxy the same way you can generate reports from other tools right there is no not so much difference in the creation and the analysis of reports okay thank you so much guys so uh, this is all about zadatac proxy how you can create how you can scan a website and how you can create a report inside this in the section summary what we have learned in this section first of all we have learned how you can use acunetics web vulnerability scanner then the burp suite scanner then we have learned about osp zap and then finally i have showed you that how you can create and analyze the report generated by different kind of tools so this is all about this section in the next section we are going to learn about website pen testing sql injection attack so we'll see you in the next video thank you